I, in my last video, last week, it should be right below this one, I talked about a breathing exercise to help you calm your nervous system. And today I want to talk to you about breathing with your animal, breathing with your horse, breathing with your dog, maybe with your cat, because this involves touching. And, but first, and that's why the name of this is soft hands. Before you touch your animal, you want to soften your hands. Now you can breathe with your animal without touching him or her, which you might have to do with a cat. But assuming that you're going to place your hands on your animal and synchronize your breath, you first want to soften your hands. And it's a really easy exercise. Imagine pulling taffy. That may be an old timey thing though. You, you don't do it by hand, the machines do it. But you pull taffy really gently. You don't want to break it. So if you just do the, your hands look so big on Zoom when they're in front. I have large hands, but this is like the Seinfeld episode with the woman with, he called her big hands and he had to break up because she had man hands. My hands aren't this big. Anyway, that's what you're doing is just pulling taffy and you'll feel your hands relaxing and you do your breathing. Just very gentle breathing, just to get grounded. And you can read more, hear more about that in the last week's video. And when they're soft, you just don't do it too long, you'll tense up. Just do it a few times and relax your shoulders. And then, let's say it's a horse, you place your hand on the withers. If it's your horse, you maybe can close your eyes, but maybe not. And you do your breathing just slowly into your nose out through your mouth, feel grounded in your feet, very quietly. And after you do this for just a little bit, you're gonna find your breath synchronizes. It's really amazing. You can breathe with your horse just for a minute too. And it's very, it's, I don't have words for it, it's wonderful. It's a wonderful way of connecting. And you can do this with your dog, same thing. Ground yourself, sit, you know, do your own breathing, calm your nervous system and place your hands very gently. You have to have soft hands. You're not laying a heavy hand on an animal, but you don't want it so light that it's tickling. So it's a gentle, soft hand laid on your animal and your breath will, after a few breaths, you will synchronize your breathing. Just do that for a little while and stop. It's so sweet and wonderful. So kitties, if your kitty likes that kind of touch, I have a barn cat. I can't touch him. So, so I, so I, you know, I have horses and a dog. But if your kitty likes that kind of touch, you could do it. Or, or you could just, you know, if your kitty's with you, sitting with you, um, like if you have a cuddly kitty, you can just do the breathing without the touch. So that's my little tip for the week. It's lovely breathing with your animal, but just be sure that you soften your hands first. I'm Pam Sorellis of Winged Horse Healing, and I will see you again soon.